Hey guys, it's Ban Maria. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry I haven't been on here in a little while. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but if you do, you'll know that I posted a picture and in the description I told you guys that I'm having some difficulties with my laptop and I'm actually waiting for a new one to come in. So there's that. Um... But I still wanted to try and get a quick look up for you guys. I'm getting ready for work and I decided to do like a quick, fresh makeup, work appropriate kind of thing for you guys. So I hope you guys like it. It's um, kind of medium coverage, but this is what I feel comfortable going out in. Sometimes I do just put BB cream and that's pretty much it but today I wanted to look more awake and fresh I slept well but I guess I slept too much and I had some pretty dark circles and um, I tried a mask and it made me break out which sucked but I've been taking care of my skin it's actually a lot better you'll see on my cheek area though that it's just not cute so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Okay, so I already have my moisturizer on. Here I am going in with the Liquid Gossamer. This is from Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics. I did receive this in my Ipsy bag for this month and I love it. It's a water-based liquid luminizer and it's really going to give us that nice illumination underneath our foundation. Here I am going with the Mali Under Makeup Corrector. This is in the shade Peach Light. I highly recommend this for anyone that has really stubborn dark circles. Uh, these two tubes hand in hand are really great. This one is the corrector and it has that peachy shade which is really going to cancel out any darkness. And the purple tube that I'm using right here is the highlight and this is really just going to help bring anything forward you'll see that's why I'm using it mostly on my cheekbones and then I'm going in with my BH beauty sponge I am using this dry I don't know why I thought about using it that way but it actually really worked and if you can tell the difference because I can especially in person it's great this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I'm in the shade Warm Beige. I love this stuff. I have really dry skin, so this helps create that illumination that I was talking about. You'll see like everything that I'm using is creating something that's illuminated just because I want it to be so fresh and really daytime appropriate and glowy because my skin is not glowy on its own. And so I'm using this again with my BH Beauty Sponge and I just am working it from the, well kind of on the left side of my face and then I'm working my way to the right. I don't know why I do it that way but that's just what works for me. Um, make sure you're bringing it down your neck because you don't want to have that line from your face to your neck and make it noticeable that you're wearing any foundation. Um, make sure you're also getting this in your hairline just so there's no discoloration or anything that's different from each other. I did only use about a pump to maybe like a pump and a half uh, just because I didn't want anything too heavy or too caked on. Here I'm using my Bare Minerals Tinted Mineral Veil. I'm using this with a Real Techniques fluffy brush and I'm just working a small amount all over my face just to set the foundation just so nothing moves around throughout the day. I'm going to be using my Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay and I'm going in with the shade Suspect first. I'm just using the flat side of the brush that comes inside the palette and I'm just putting that all over my lid. After that I'm going to be picking up the shade Chopper and I'm going to be mixing a little bit of that with Half Baked and I'm just intensifying that lid color. 
And then for the fluffy side of the brush, I'm going to be using the shade Tease. Picking up my Stardust palette by Too Faced in collaboration with Vegas Nay, I'm still going to take the fluffy side of the Urban Decay palette, or the brush, sorry, <laughs> and I'm picking up the shade Millennial. And over here, I'm about to show you guys Charlotte Russe. I actually liked one of my pictures on Instagram. And I was like, okay, girl, hey, I got you. <laughs> um, moving on, just having a little party. Uh, I'm just going to take that millennial color and I'm going to work it into the crease. And I just wanted to intensify it a little bit, but also since I'm using the fluffy side of the brush, it's just going to create more of an airbrushed finish. Now I'm taking my Morphe E36 brush. I love this little pencil brush. It's from their Elite Collection um, on morphebrushes.com or you can go to Morphe Brushes store in Burbank. I'm just going to be picking up that chandelier shade from the Stardust palette and I'm just going to be highlighting my inner corners. And here I'm going to do a little mini wing and I didn't speed this process up for you guys because I know some people are interested in looking for ways to do a little wing. Here I'm just using a liquid liner. I tried using a gel liner for the first time like a week ago and I failed miserably. So practice makes perfect but for now I'm just going to stick to my liquid liner. Now that our little mini wing is all done, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light Medium and I'm just placing this under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, a little bit on my cupid's bow, and a little bit on my chin. Uh, whenever you're highlighting, you really want to balance out the entire center of your face. If not, it's going to look funny. Like. Sometimes I try to do just under the eyes and I have to balance everything out. It just looks weird. And now I'm taking my Airspun Translucent Powder. You can pick this up at like Walgreens. I don't know if CVS has it. I know Walgreens does for sure though. Um, and I'm just semi-baking underneath my eyes. I just do this for a little bit just so my concealer doesn't crease anywhere and doesn't move around throughout the day. Um, you can skip this step but I suggest not to. Now I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm just picking up I don't know what shade it is but it's the more orangey shade and I'm just bronzing up my face. I'm not going to be contouring today. Well I'm going to clean up the bottom you'll see afterwards but I'm not using any shades that are like more cool and more gray tone just because I wanted more of a bronzy feeling, something kind of fresh, summery, but even though it's not summer, you know what I mean. Now here I'm just placing that same Airspun Translucent Powder uh, under that bronzy shade from the contour kit. And I'm also placing some around my smile lines because that creases a lot throughout the day for me. Now I'm taking this Benefit. Havana blush and I forgot how much I love this blush. It's just so pink and nude and very daytime work school appropriate and I'm taking this on a Real Techniques dual fiber face brush. They have a small contour brush that came with the kit but I can't find it so 
I ended up using this one and I actually like it a lot more just because it covers more ground. Now I'm taking my Becca Champagne Pop in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill Highlight and I don't know what this brush is called but I did get it from like Kirkland or some like Kirkland brand. If you guys don't know where that's from that's basically just Costco and it came in a kit and I really like this little fan brush. I've had it for a really long time and for the longest I didn't know how to use it until highlight became a thing. So I really really like this brush. Uh, now I'm just taking my e.l.f. blush brush and I'm just cleaning up that translucent powder that we placed wherever we had concealer and uh, below that bronzy shade as well. Now I'm just taking my MAC Fix Plus. I like doing this before I do any mascara or any lip products just because Things tend to move around. Oh my gosh, you guys, my sister-in-law got me this eyelash curler because she works at Sephora. I'm so in love with it. It's so pretty. It's from Tarte. This would be, it's kind of expensive to be like a stocking stuffer, but I mean, if you're one of those people that just like to spend a lot of money on people for holidays or Christmas time, if you do celebrate Christmas, this would be an excellent uh, stocking stuffer. Now I'm just going to be taking my Benefit Roller Lash, I have no idea what I just said there, and uh, I really like this mascara. You're technically not supposed to, or not that you're not supposed to, but you don't have to curl your lashes when using this mascara just because it naturally curls them for you, which is really cool. And I don't know, I just, I like using it while curling my lashes as well just because it really stands out, the curl. So I zoomed in just so I could show you guys. My lashes look a little bit longer in person, but I don't know, maybe it's just the way my camera was angled. But I try showing you guys here just because, I don't know, it's really cool. And afterwards, I'm going to be taking that same mascara and I'm running it on my lower lash line as well. Now I'm going to be taking this Jordana lip liner and I believe it's in the shade Pink Love. Yes, Pink Love. And Jordana you can buy. I bought mine at Walgreens. I don't know where else they sell it, but it's super affordable. They're really creamy. They last a long time and I just really like them. Once I'm done lining and filling in my lips with that Jordana lip liner, I'm taking my NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Beige. I seriously don't understand why they named it Beige, but hey, that's okay. And this is the finished look, you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's great for work or for school or maybe just running some errands throughout the day. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye, guys.